this uh, situation that we're facing all has really enhanced um, the appeal of watching movies at home. The fact that everything is available right now for streaming, it put us 10 years ahead. What was going to happen 10 years ahead suddenly ha is happening now. And to me, this is um, the most heartwarming thing that you can get about home entertainment, that you have access to content, which is the most important thing. The technology is here. We have the equipment, we have creative TVs, but we didn't have we had content, content that lagged months and months behind what you had in the theater. I mean, you see a new movie by a new director, and you have the chance to see it tonight at your house without having to go anywhere. That's right. big. I don't have my theater anymore. I sold my house, and I have to watch TV like everybody else. I feel compromised. I don't feel like uh, I'm getting the best out of a movie. It's annoying because if I want to watch a movie at 8 o'clock, the sun is still coming in and it washes out the picture. You can enjoy it unless you have that dedicated space where you actually can immerse yourself into the picture. Home theater, just with the TV in the living room, doesn't quite cut it. Actually, there are some new movies, like I got the 4K of 17, uh, uh, 1917. I don't want to watch it on TV. I want to go to Greece where I have my full theater and really experience it the way it's supposed to be experienced. Just like people used to say, I, don't, I see the first run movie on the plane and I'm not going to play it because I don't want to see it on a small screen. I'll wait until I go home and play it on my Kaleidoscape system, play it on my high definition TV and really get the best out of the movie. I don't think so. They could extract the last resolution from a movie that you can, but it's never going to be the kind of difference that you have from when I watch. Can I pause something and bring something in the camera and show you something? Um. <laughs> I don't know. This thing, if you play it now, if there was a machine to play it, it would make VHS look 4K. That's how bad it was. But that's our evolution. That's our past. And how this actually came out before VHS tapes, if you believe it. So we have uh, gone a long way. And we have reached kind of the limit of the cap capacity of a theater. I don't see any difference. I saw on this TV, I screened uh, 1917 visually. I don't think there was any difference from what I remember having seen it in a theater. The complaint that I have about the home theater industry in general, people have become complacent. They don't have the kind of excitement and enthusiasm that they had at the very beginning, where they're innovators and they were trend centers. Unfortunately, home theater has become um, more like something that's expected. It's part of our life. It's part of the way we entertain at home. We have a kitchen, we have a bathroom, we have a home theater. It's not anymore this, the rare thing that very few people have. The early adapter kind of allure has disappeared. So it's difficult to ignite the imaginations of people and get them to think that if you have a home theater that has lobbies and foyers and entertainment spaces, is something that will really improve their life. Unless they see things that we do, like what we did with Steve Haas or other theater, that can open their eyes.